In a bid to boost Nigeria's ICT sector, the Nigerian government has signed a key agreement with China. Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Babachi David Lawal, made the disclosure at the signing between the federal government and ICT giants Huawei Technologies in Abuja. The deal ensures a group of young and talented employees of the government take part in an all pay to week training program in Abuja. Over the course of the program, Huawei shares its ICT expert, expertise and experience with young ICT professionals and helps fuel the development of local ICT industries. The Seeds for the Future program has been held in more than 57 countries. More than 1,500 uh, 1, people from all over the world have received training from China. This is the first time we have organized Nigeria officials to take part in this program. I believe all the officials going for this training will learn the most advanced ICT technology and come back with a new profile. The government and the president, President Muhammad Buhari, recognizes that the progress so far made in the war against corruption and insecurity would not have been possible. The achievements so far would not have been possible without the acquisition and deployment of ICT skills and expertise. It has been the major tool in the law enforcement agent's ability to detect, track, and uh, expose fraudulent practices and saboteurs of government programs. So the government is very, very keen in developing ICT skills and expertise among its workers and indeed among the citizenry at large. I have honor to recall Digital Africa Conference and Exhibition uh, 2016, under which President uh, Bahari called for development of ICT to make it uh, contribute between 20-30% uh, to the GDP in the next uh, four years, and also emphasize the uh, need to create uh, unable uh, environment for Nigeria's teenage youngs to take advantage of ICT in order to create jobs, generate wealth, and diversify the economy. We have all along adopted an open and inclusive approach when cooperation with African countries so as to build China Africa community of a share, future, and uh, fortune.